I should say at the outset that I, I don't work directly on, on uh, Alzheimer's disease. I work on a signaling pathway called the AMP activated protein kinase or AMPK pathway, which um, there's not too much evidence yet that it has a direct involvement in, in Alzheimer's disease, but there is quite a lot of work being done in, in lower organisms, in model organisms, suggesting that it has a role in aging, particularly in, in uh, C. elegans and in Drosophila. Where, um, where AMPK seems to be required for some of the um, effects of uh, agents which cause stress to, to actually extend lifespan. So I guess it's interesting from that point of view, but it has to be said there's not been very much done yet in the, in the nervous system, so its, it's role in, uh, in Alzheimer's disease is still quite speculative, I would say. For example, um, in C. elegans, which is one of the models that's been particularly used in research on longevity, um, as, um, as the worms get older, which in worms is, is a matter of 20 days or so, uh, one of two things happen. One is that it's been reported that, that uh, the ratio of AMP and AT to ATP in the cell rises. That's exactly what activates AMP kinase. And also there's this increasing fragmentation of the mitochondrial network in, in the cells. Uh, and that's... Uh, and it's been shown that if you, if you actually express a, an active mutant of AMPK in the worms, that they, um, they not only do they live longer, but they, the, the sort of fragmentation of the mitochondrial network is delayed. So the, the, there's quite a bit of evidence that um, you know, aging is to do with um, basically a kind of energy crisis in, in cells as you get older. And, AMPK seems to be able to, to some extent, alleviate that. One of the other speakers was, was definitely talking about this whole business about how the mitochondrial network in cells is maintained, and obviously, so there is quite a lot of interest in, in that in the, uh, in the area of neurodegenerative diseases.